morning. <laughs> my leg is a mess. I'm trying to make it look normal. I, I just need to brush it. Um, and I'm going to wear a beanie because it's really cold. And then I'm going up to get my hair done. But there's a new grocery store in Austin called Aldi. And everyone says it's like, I don't know if Trader Joe's owns it or what. But it's way up by my parents. And since I'm going up there anyways, I'm going to get ready a little bit early. Go do my grocery shopping at Aldi instead of Trader Joe's to see what different kind of vegan stuff they have. I had planned on going to Nancy's Sky Garden today. But turns out they're closed on Sundays, <laughs> so I can't go, which I was really, really looking forward to it because they have these most, the most amazing salads, and they have these sweet potato noodles, oh my gosh, and their tofu with this spicy mango sauce on it. It's so good, so healthy. I'm obsessed with it, but they're closed. So I'm going to go to Aldi, and then I need to go get pack hair because I'm getting my hair braided, and then I'm going to... Um, sit like a child on the floor in between my mother's legs for about nine hours which is probably like labor over again for her actually while she braids my hair but um we're getting started a little bit later usually start at like 5 a.m we're getting started later today because she's pressing Kayla's hair this morning so it's a lot to hear from mom bless her but I'm not gonna wear any makeup because uh you're sitting on the floor for so long it's just like annoying but I will take a powder probably with me um in a lipstick and an eyebrow pencil for afterwards if I want to go somewhere and I want to look a little spruced. So since I'm going to be at my mom's for a long time and I don't know if I'm going to find things that I like at Aldi, I'm just taking a Kite Hill strawberry Greek yogurt, my hummus because mom usually has some tomatoes or something I can dip um, into my hummus, a liter of LaCroix. This is actually a bottle that I just refill all the time. This one currently has key lime LaCroix in it you just would never know and then a thing of chili it's frozen but I'll just leave it on the counter and by the time it's time for dinner it'll be defrosted if I need to eat that so I'm just going to toss all of that in to the bag so but I need to be careful because my um iPad's in there so I'm going to take my iPad out and bring it to safety and then I'll put this stuff in there. Um, it's nice having this giant bag, but I don't want to ruin my iPad. So put that in there. And that. this is just my tech snake, like my little charger thing. So I'll put that in there with my beats. And yeah, good to go. I'm just not going to put my iPad in there because I don't want it to get wet. So I'm just getting gas while well, I'm done. Um, and I was like, why do I have a headache? Because I haven't had any caffeine mm -hmm. it's been a while since I've had a caffeine headache that's not a good sign um, so I'm gonna go get caffeinated even though it's just feeding my addiction but I feel like it's one of the better addictions I could have so I'm just gonna go with it so I'm at the hair store I just got my hair and some pressing cream for my mom it's so annoying like how hard it is to find cruelty free black hair products like holy crap you have to dig forever to find a leaping bunny sign and I know that there are brands out there but they're not always my preferred brands like they'll have petroleum in them or they'll have alcohol which are things that I don't put in my hair so like finding <laughs> products sifting through the very slim pickings of cruelty free products then digging through the ingredients to make sure there's something that you actually want on your scalp I found it very challenging and I don't like ordering things offline because I need to like be able to touch them and smell them and make sure that there's something that I'm gonna like so it's a struggle <laughs> but I do have a couple of brands that I like lately and I picked up one thing so that's all I just have to say that I'm I hate that it's so annoying why can't everything just be cruelty free Nicole Nicole Nicole, can you open the door, please? Your arm! Oh, you have a sweater on! Look at your sweater! <laughs> Let me see that sweater! Let me see that sweater! Come on, now. Nobody won't be taking if she's taking pictures of you. What are you trying to say, Nicole? Nicole, what are you trying to say? Tell everybody in your sweater! Yeah! <laughs> Oh yeah, Nicole's the princess of the house. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm the princess of the universe. Yeah. Her state from Jesus. Yes, it's so cute and perfect. Yeah, her perfect. Oh. Yeah, that's my perfect princess baby. I'm not recording your face, mother. Look at my baby. Well, look, this is why Nicole's so spoiled. Her grandma does this to her. She's a baby. She's rocking her. Here's a baby. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is why I don't need real children. Because she already has baby this one. <laughs> Are you a baby? <laughs> look Are at her little baby? chin hanging over her sweater. <laughs> Nicole, what's that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I'm a baby. Oh my goodness, look at you. <laughs> I have, yeah, I have the curl cream and something else. That's my gel. <laughs> so this is the before, before mom does my naps. And then it'll be beautiful after. My mom just called me Kaepernick. <laughs> she thinks she's really funny. Do you hear her laughing at herself? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah from Kaepernick to whatever <laughs> she's ridiculous to whatever I'm going to be with my braids I'm making my chili right now um, I just I made that big batch like <laughs> yeah she yeah. thinks she's hilarious <laughs> mom what? stop I know my rights <laughs> <laughs> Jack or Nick. So, <laughs> Jack or Nick works. So I just microwave my chili and I'm going to scarf that down while mom is separating the hair and laughing at herself. Nicole, you're just going to sit there behind your grandma? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so spoiled. <laughs> okay, mother. So you have to have my rights. Recording and stuff, because if not, you have to pay me royalties. That's like using my services without paying me, and that's not cool. Mom, royalties is being able to be my mother. No, bullshit. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be no, my mother. Yeah. If I'm going to be internet famous, I need to get paid for it. You're already internet famous. Selfie I queen. Check. Selfie queen of the universe. I am your payment. Here's my check. I'm, me and Nicole are your payment. You gave me stretch marks and saggy boobs, not, not a check. Mom, stretch marks and saggy boobs are in right now. Jack. So, <laughs> my mom, I was telling her the last time you guys were really liking her commentary on how Khloe Kardashian is OJ Simpson's daughter. She is. <laughs> and I told her it was like the Wendy show. And then she said I need to have her consent. After she just called me Colin Kaepernick and saying that <laughs> I know my rights. Now she's trying to tell me what her rights are. That's not how this goes. That's not how any of this goes, mother. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, it's a few days later, obviously, but I figured you would never forgive me if I didn't show you what I was making for Thanksgiving. So I decided to vlog some this morning and show you guys everything by the time that it's done. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. You're probably seeing this, um, I don't know, Sunday or something like that. But yeah, let's go get started because... Thanksgiving cooking takes a long time. If these aren't the most grandma slippers, hopefully my food will be as good as my great grandma since I'm wearing her house shoes. So I found this at Whole Foods. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for, but I want to show you guys because some Trader Joe's have it now, but like my market's not getting it until December. So if you want it for pies or anything between now and then, they do have this or for your coffee if you're like nasty like me. Um, so I have some Dandy's Vegan Marshmallows, two things of sweet potatoes, two sweet potatoes, some maple, this is table syrup, it's not actual maple syrup, I like it because it's thicker, 
some brown sugar, light brown sugar for my sweet potato casserole. And then I have these chubby noodles back here because I love these for um, mac and cheese. Some Earth's Balance, two different kinds of vegan cheese. I have the So Delicious and I have the Aged Nut Cheese which is made out of cashews. And then some nutritional yeast. I'm also putting some vegan cream cheese in here. So it's going to be ridiculously creamy and delicious. Then I have some potatoes because I'm just going to have a little bit of mashed potatoes. I'm not like a huge mashed potato on Thanksgiving fan. Uh, some mushrooms and this is some vegan sausage that I'm going to crumble into my Brussels sprouts. I also have some asparagus. I have some cornbread that I made a couple days ago so it will be nice and dry and ready to absorb all of the goodness that I'm going to put inside of it an onion, some celery, and then my macadamia milk, my Kite Hill, which I'm gonna put some in my mashed potatoes and some in my cream cheese, my mushrooms for my broth, a lot of broth. I like to mix the not beef and not chicken on Thanksgiving, some cranberry sauce from Whole Foods, this one is vegan, and some soy milk. Um, hairs up. So it's going down in the kitchen. Um, I just have my broth going, getting my mushrooms rehydrated in there. I'm getting ready to start my stuffing first. And then after stuffing, um, I'm gonna do sweet potatoes at the same time because they're easy. Um, I'm eating these Texas sized grapes. They have absolutely no flavor. They're so gross. But they're crunchy <laughs> while well, I do it. So I'm going to start peeling sweet potatoes here while my broth is going. At least get my um, cornbread into one of these pans. I always use really reusable throwaway pans. So much easier. Our stuffing goodies are going. I'm watching Jenna and Julian. Um, this is just celery, onions, earth balance, some thyme and tarragon, some poultry seasoning. I'll add salt and pepper in a little bit. Our broth is doing good over here. Our cornbread is ready to be soaked in as much broth and goodness as possible. Just browning up a little bit of sage because the last few years I've been adding brown sage to the top of my stuffing and it's so good. Celery and onions are all in here. I'm going to start adding in my broth in a second and I did reserve some of that for my gravy later too. It's getting hot in there y'all. It's getting real hot. I have my first layer of sweet potatoes. So sweet potatoes, um, brown sugar, some maple, and earth balance, some cinnamon. And then you do your second layer and do the same thing for like super delicious candied sweet potatoes. I know typically it's candied yams, but I couldn't find yams anywhere this year for some reason and I don't feel like they're that different. <laughs> and then you cover this and cook it on 350 for, I don't know, 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Make sure they're tender. And then um, uncover it and put a bag of marshmallows on top and let it cook until the marshmallows are nice and melty. Asparagus, I'm eating a noodle to see if they're done. The pan was a little bit too full, so I might have to make a pan and a half of noodles. Um, potatoes are going, and I have a roux going for my mac and cheese right now. Um, so it's just butter and flour going, and I'm gonna add some soy and some macadamia milk here in a second. Brussels sprouts. Please. <laughs> Sweet potatoes are done. I'm gonna put them under the broiler um, right before I eat them. Asparagus, Brussels sprouts with sausage, mac and cheese is all baked and yummy. Mashed potatoes. This is the extra of the candied sweet potato sauce. Biscuits, gravy, mmm, and the last thing is my stuffing. I put a lot of liquid, so it really needs to cook for a while. So it's getting this thing going in there. I'm having a little sampler plate to make sure that everything's good. Some mac, some potatoes, mushroom gravy, and some amazing sweet potatoes. Um, I'm back to like a crop top, um, like bandeau top, because you know, I spilled gravy on myself, let's be honest. Um, I'm almost done. I'm watching Trey Melvin in the background, so if you hear a loud black man, that's that's what that is. Everything's done, and I want to show you my key to a stress-free Thanksgiving is 
to clean your dishes as you go. Do not leave them to the end or you'll be sorely disappointed. I'm headed up to my parents' house now. Sorry, letting the garage up. Um, so in previous years, I used to spend the night and cook at my mom's house or I'd cook half of it the night before and take it up. But this is my fifth vegan Thanksgiving. And this year I just start, decided to cook and eat at home and that I would take a plate with me if I wanted to have a meal with my parents. Um, so it's not really, cause once we're there, everyone kind of dispersed during meal time anyways. So it's not a big deal for me to have my food there. And since my parents live close enough, that works for me. <laughs> if they live further, then of course I'd, you know, take things and cook. But <sighs> my mom, is a kitchen hog and it's impossible to cook in a kitchen with that woman and if you're in there she gets all frustrated and kicks you out so i'm going up now to see my family and pff, let's be honest i'm just going to see nicole so <sighs> let the drive commence my mom named this turkey tyrone just so you guys know why are you so thankful to be my parent and if you want to act like you grow, you just No, maybe because you keep laughing because you're full of Yeah. You're you. You're very lucky, sir. I guess. You could have way worse children. Probably. You could have. You run a close second, though. To Nicole? To what? To Nicole? To the mother bad ass kids you be talking about. Shit. What are you doing? I'm playing a video game. Oh. What does your shirt say? Man, the most awesome is pimping his dad. Oh, I my, guess. My favorite daughter, Jacqueline. Okay. <laughs> nah, you gotta say. <laughs> what are you thankful for? That I won't have children. Thanks, mom. <laughs> she thinks she's hilarious all the time. She thinks she's so funny. Look, Capper Jack. <laughs> Bye. A good bye. Kayla's watching Sophia. But I do see it fading. What video is this? Kayla. Oh, mixing all of her liquid lipsticks? What are you thankful for? Say me as your sister. <laughs> um, specifically, me as your sister. <laughs> your dogs? See? Where are you going to college? Hello. Oh, wow. Okay. We have to pay attention to this one. We have to pay attention to this one. She's having a tantrum. Nicole, sometimes we have to talk to other people besides you. You know that, right? I can't always talk to you. So, where are you going to college? Um... You're going to the Art Institute. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna find somewhere else other than Austin now because I don't I don't know how I feel about the fashion thing in Austin. Outside of Texas? No. In Texas. Yeah. Art Institute of Houston? Maybe. Oh my god. Okay. We get it. You are the most important. I understand. Nicole, calm down. I'm talking to Jaquela right now. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Kayla. I'm talking to Kayla. But I'm talking to Kayla. I'm trying to talk to Kayla. Can you calm down, please? Thank you. So, Kayla. <laughs> Maybe... <sighs> Nicole, stop interrupting. I'm talking to Kayla. I'm trying to talk to Kayla. I'm not talking to Nicole. Why are you being a drama queen? Why are you being a drama queen? She's literally having a fit because we're not paying attention to her. <laughs> Nicole, calm down. <laughs> calm down. We can't always pay attention to you always. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I have the itis for sure. Um, I'm so full <laughs> still. I came home 
and I did some yoga. Usually my family goes on a walk together on Thanksgiving, but I got to their house so late that it was getting dark like shortly after being there so we didn't go on our Thanksgiving walk like we usually do um I have my dream catcher this is actually from um Tamaya it's a resort owned by Native Americans um so I have that I have it here it just reminds me of my grand of my grandfather because he's Native American and he was a big part of my life when I was a baby but that's a really long story we can't we don't have time to jump into that but um you guys were saying how much you love seeing me with my family and what is that white dot is that like oh weird I have period breakouts at the moment it's so annoying oh I don't know what that is it's so weird I just got out of the shower um how close I am with my family and it's so weird because I am close with them and I love them so much but I haven't always been my family is so strict and very like no nonsense and it actually took me running away from them um, like packing all of my stuff in a car and leaving in order for us to become close and that's why I talk to you guys a lot about like creating boundaries in your life and how it's okay to create boundaries and um, tell people what you'll take from them and what you won't take from them and usually sometimes it weeds people out of your life <laughs> because sometimes people just need to fuck out of here <laughs> but sometimes creating those boundaries just bring you closer and that's how it was and is with my family we have this strong unbreakable bond but um you can't let people like control you you know you have to be your own person at the same time so it did take some courage on my part because um I'm scared of my mom like scared um <laughs> but it it was great it all ended up great I'm picking I'm not gonna tell you guys what I'm doing picking at my toenails because I really need a pedicure <laughs> um I also noticed something today so well I didn't notice it today I noticed it last time I went to the ear nose throat doctor you guys know I spend a lot of time at the ENT because <clears throat> one I've had a vocal cord injury and I try to keep them healthy and then I have vertigo and they always think it's an inner ear problem even though it's not they always have to start back at square one anytime they look into it but my equilibrium is just kind of shit because of my deviated septum so nose ear nose throat I'm always there anytime I go he looks at my cheeks and he goes oh you're a biter because I bite the inside of my cheeks and my mouth constantly and um so of course I web md it and they said that it's like the equivalent of nail biting which it's so funny I have really like long strong nails now but I bit them up until the time I was 18 oh my arm's tired gotta swap um I bit them up until the time that I was 18 and now I don't ever bite my nails this one's broken on both hands <laughs> just these ones are long and they get really long I just cut them all off like two weeks ago so this is like two weeks of growth um I think that I may have just swapped biting my nails for biting my like cheeks like you guys know some of you guys probably do it right like where you like you're just like kind of biting the inside of your mouth so anytime that I'm doing it I'm trying to be conscious not to do it because I think it's just like biting your nails is like I don't know if it's like a nervous habit or just like oral fixation or if it's mindless but whatever it is I'm trying not to do it um other than that, I'm just sitting here in bed on my iPad, and my Apple Pencil is dead right now. Um, but I'm looking up the rest of the, I almost said recipes, <laughs> workouts for the fitness challenge because I'm so excited for the fourth quarter, and I'm actually really excited to do the workouts. Um, you guys know I work out pretty regularly, but I don't really challenge myself. I just work out in order to maintain whatever weight loss I have from years back. 
that I still have from years back. But the fitness challenges are a challenge for me too because it does really make me like pump up my workouts and try new things and like push myself harder than I typically do. And I love the feeling of that. So I'm really excited about it. I know you guys are probably tired of hearing about it. But I think the video for that should be live Sunday or Wednesday of next week. I'm not sure which one. But it's going to start quick. It's going to be like four or five days from the day I post it. So you got to you got to be on board really quick this time around. But I want to thank you guys so 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 much for watching and I freaking love you guys and I'm so thankful for you daily. I don't need Thanksgiving, which for me especially since I have Native American in my family. Um and it's not like far back in my family. It's pretty close. It's my, you know, my grandfather, I told you. Um, for me, it's almost a Hallmark holiday. Like um, Mother's Day or uh, Father's Day or Grandparents' Day. It's just a day to take some extra time out to be thankful and count your blessings. Because we're in such a busy world that we don't take time to just be thankful for the things that we have so for me that's really what thanksgiving is it's like a hallmark holiday um um just like mother's day you should be thankful for your mother every single day father's day grandparents day all of those days you should always be thankful um and that's how thanksgiving is to me you should always be thankful and you should always count your blessings but it's just a day to slow down and to really like rest on that and hopefully it'll carry on, you know, through the end of the year. You keeping um, a thankful, I don't know, mind, heart, all of those things. And, you know, just continue to count your blessings and be gracious and show gratitude and all of those good things. But I've been blabbing for like seven minutes now. Damn, I can talk. <laughs> but back to what I was saying if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you like it share it with your friends if you love it but until next time I want to thank you guys so so much for watching and remember until next time to keep an open mind keep an open heart practice unconditional compassion but don't take shit from anyone I love you guys freaking endlessly and I hope you love yourselves even more I'll talk to you very very soon